I'm here with Why, Why Gary you? Glitter, <laughs> Hello. Roy Wood Hello. and Brian Connolly, who are going Hello. to tell me all about their wardrobes. What? The, your wardrobes. What, what we do in them or what? No, not what you do in them. Now, you've brought with you some clothes because we're going to be looking at glam rock. And you were the most glamorous boys in the entire world, weren't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, the most, the most, the most glam. Well, this is mine. This is what I wear now. You wear this now? Yeah, yeah. I've got it, the mirrors. If you can see the mirrors there, that's to check my makeup, you know, make sure it's all right while I'm on stage there because, you know, I sweat a bit. Um, you saw his coat hangers. Whose is that one? Made by Brunel. <laughs> no, I don't think times have changed that much, do you? I'm, well, what did you think of the man from Hanoi Rocks? Because he was wearing something a bit like that. Good well, band. He, he came over to me a gig a couple of weeks ago and said he's, he's been following me for like 11 years, copying everything. And now he's overtaken, by the way. His eyelashes were about an inch long. Brilliant. And that outfit, that uh, blue one, when did you get it? That was on a 73-74. TV. And you never threw it away? No. Why not? Well, I knew they'd come back. I'm tight. <laughs> <laughs> so did any of you throw all these things away? No, I... I yes. Oh, you, oh, you did? Well, so you're buying new? No, in fact, I, I, I didn't have much gear left, and uh, somebody said yesterday to bring something along, and I found something stuffed in the corner of a cupboard somewhere. And that, 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 uh, was, that was the spam... This was that was the pre -Boy George. Spam boy George Spam and lettuce coat, that was. That's <laughs> <laughs> the colours. Oh. Where did you wear that? I mean, with these clothes, did you only wear them on stage, or did you ever go out in them? Uh, clothes like this? Well, not very often, no. It didn't go to, down too well on the bus, you know. But you came out like this. Well. Oh. Well, it's quite, quite extravagant, she says, oh. dropping her script. This is all right. Now, let's have a look at those shoes. Are they a relic from the past, or did you buy those no, now I, that it's reviving? I like wearing women's clothes, you see, you know, if they're, gir <laughs> they're girls. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> How about you? Are you, from your uh, wife. <laughs> are you wearing your, your... He's just got married, you know. Did you really? Yeah, oh, that's marvellous. Congratulations. Yeah. Are you still wearing these things now again? I mean, are you all reviving it with a vengeance? No. You're not. Well, I am. You are. I am to a point because I'm wearing a black outfit later tonight at a gig and it's very similar to that. And it's two days old, but it's similar to that one. And who makes them for you? I have a tailor that, um, well, I did uh, buy a particular jacket today that didn't turn up, so I'm glad I have got my own tailor. Now, do you have special padding in your clothes? Oh, yes, all the way round. Even in the non-glamorous ones? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. All down the front of his trousers, actually. <laughs> That's enough of that. We've now got a package of glamorous rock stars wearing fantabulous outfits that everyone's going to copy, including the platform boots.